In this video, I'm gonna take you on a tour of two homes with recent price reductions. So if you like home tours, stick around. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Josh Bryan and I'm your Tampa Bay area real estate expert. If you're thinking about making a move, reach out. I would love to help you. My contact information will be in the description below. All right, today I just got done showing some clients homes. We are up in Spring Hill, Florida. Um, so since I was up in this area, I figured I would go and show you a couple properties. Uh, also have been, have, have had requests to do homes up here, up in Hernando County. So this is for you, um, out in Spring Hill today. So let's start the tour. All right. For all of you non HOA lovers, this is for you. This is a four bedroom, two bath, 2274 square feet built in 2004. It was originally listed at $367,000. It has been reduced down to $344,000. Property taxes are $1924 a year. And to some, the downside is this is on septic. So a lot of homes up in Spring Hill and Hernando County, if you're not in a subdivision in HOA, a lot of them are on septic some are on well water as well but this one is on public water just a septic all right so let's go inside take a look at this one let me know what you think about it in the comments below all right so when you first come in you have the uh, laminate vinyl flooring as a runner kind of hallway thing into the family room to the left right here is a dining area with ceramic tile we will head that way in a second and then this area here could be whatever you want um, seating area it could be a, a separate family area living room area let's start on to the right side of the property in the master suite so you have a ceiling fan here. You do have ceramic tile for the floor. Get over here in the corner and show you the whole width. It's a big, big master bedroom. Your nice little archways right here. And there are two closets. One right there. And then one right here. Both of those are archways, no doors on them or anything like that. There's also no doors. You have the archways continuing on. There are no doors separating the bathroom from the bedroom. You have a shower here that is tile. It's that, actually, no, it's not. It's actually just a fiberglass insert. So just a cheap, cheap insert. Uh, right here is going to be your toilet area. You have the single vanity there. And then your tub is going to be right there. All right, continuing on, you're going to have a coat closet right here. Here is your family room slash living room. Two windows there. And then that opens up into a open kitchen, which you kind of have two islands. I mean, I guess there's no way around it. You do have two islands. So your sink is here. Got your uh, double bowl sink, your cabinets. And then this island here has your dishwasher in it. And then back here, you're gonna have your electric range, your microwave. You do have two pantries, one pantry right here and the other pantry right there, along with your stainless steel refrigerator. Sliding glass doors that go out to the patio. We'll go out there in a minute. Let's go check out this side of the property. 
and we will work our way back here first and then come back. So you have your two car garage out here, the water heater in the corner. You come in out of the garage into your laundry room. Continuing on right here to the left is going to be bedroom number two. Coming out of there, going down the hall, you have a door to the right that goes out to the patio. We'll go out there in one second. Bedroom number three. And bedroom number four. And then you have a full bath back here, single vanity, granite countertops. All right, let's go outside, take a look at the backyard. All right, so come out, you have a covered and screened in lanai. outside you have a fire pit and big backyard and I'm assuming at one point there was an above ground pool right here and I hopefully not a sinkhole because I didn't see anything about a sinkhole but more than likely it was an um, above ground pool right there extremely windy I'm sure the cameras picking that up so I apologize for that and here is the backside of the property and as you can see it's a huge yard so that's gonna do it for this property let me know what you think about it in the comments All right below. this one is a four bedroom three bath three car garage 3,040 square feet built in 2006 Originally listed at $455,000, it has been reduced $38,000 down to $417,000. There is a annual association fee of only $75 and the property taxes are $53.58 per year. Let me pan around the neighborhood, show you what it looks like. Today is a little overcast and gray. We're expecting rain later, so take that for what it's worth all right let's go inside and take a look at this one all right so when you first come in you have the laminate flooring and then this would be it could be whatever you want it to be dining room that's probably what they had since the two chandeliers And to the left is going to be a flex room. So you can set this up as an office or you know, whatever you would like. And going throughout the house, it's going to be a little dark in certain areas because some of the lights are not working. And with it being cloudy today, that's not helping very well. But let's just work our way over here first. We'll go... Right here under the stairs, there's some storage here. And then this is gonna be the dark side of the house. So you have your laundry room here. Let me know what you think about these like whitewashed, this tile, wood like tile. Laundry room here, and then your three car garage. This, at least this bay has the screen that you can pull down. So it's missing the, uh, that actually pulls out. So never mind, not missing anything. So you could open that bay and close the screen down 
And then you have a door out to the side yard. Real big three car garage. All right, continuing on to the right, you're going to have a, a full bath. That same whitewashed wood-like tile for the floor. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not a big fan, but let me know what you think about it. You have a, a linen closet right there. And none of these lights are working over here, so that's why it's dark. And then the bedrooms, they're wired for overhead light, but they do not have an overhead light. And one more bedroom. Same thing with the overhead light, it's just wired for it, but not an actual light. And then you can come into the kitchen right here. This is where your refrigerator would go. You have your light brown cabinets, your, looks like Corian uh, countertops, stainless steel appliances with the electric range. Your pantry right here. Double basin sink. And then there's a dining area right here. And then around the corner, you are going to have a door to the backyard. Bathroom number two. And one more bedroom. So this could be set up as kind of like a guest quarters or obviously if you have multiple people in the household need four bedrooms, it'd be one of theirs. But if not, you just get a great place for the guests to be kind of by themselves and a bathroom. And then this is going to be your family room, living room area. And then let's go upstairs real quick. There is just a, a gigantic loft upstairs, no additional bedrooms, but it's a great space. Yeah, you'll see in a second. All right, so real big loft. So you could set this up as a game room, media room, whatever you're, you like. This closet here. You have your air handler and then pretty deep area for some storage. All right, let's go back downstairs, check out the master suite. You got your triple sliders here that collapse into each other. This is the master bedroom here you do have sliding glass doors out to the back patio that same tile in the in the bathrooms again you have your double vanities right behind the door is going to be where your toilet is big jetted tub your walk-in shower, which is a nice size. And linen closet here. And then the master bedroom closet. All right, let's go outside, take a look at the back patio in the backyard. There are dogs next door, so they may start barking but we will find out. All right, ooh, nice spider web. All right, so come out, you have a covered, yep, there they go, covered lanai. It is wired for overhead light or a ceiling fan. You have fenced in yard. Go around here, show you the side. 
There's the side there. Let's go take a look at this side. A lot of sand out here. And here is the side of that. And that is what the back of the home looks like. That's going to do it for this property. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And I will see you at the next one. All right. So that's going to do it for this tour. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment below. And if you're thinking about making a move, reach out. I would love to help you. My contact information is in the description below. But until next video, take care.